We're at the Titsworth residence. This is a project where we did about a 6,000 square foot snow melt on Lake Gage in Indiana. We have three zones, uh, one uh, the top of the hill and the drive itself and then also the system is also heating the floors in his garage on a separate thermostat. We enjoy it all the time and it's, it's not that expensive to run. So it, it was really a good investment. Scott did a nice job and, and my wife loves it and uh, we are very happy with it. I'd see friends later and they would say, did, how did you get your driveway cleaned off? Did Fred snow blow that or did you shovel? I said, no, it's heated. Oh, no wonder, I'd say. <laughs> Indiana Warm Floors was uh, started in 1979 by Scott Patton. We put our first geothermal radiant system in. You know, around the lake sometimes it's very hilly, and they have a very steep driveway here, and being elderly, they're concerned about being able to get in and out without having to shovel every day. Thank you, honey, for the driveway. We couldn't have gotten off the hill, and nobody could have come up to help us at all. So it's been worth every penny, and I'm thankful that my husband wanted to do this. Titsworth Projects has turned out great. They're very happy about their melted driveway so they don't have to worry about getting in and out. They're always safe and uh, their neighbors are envious because they wonder who's out there shoveling their driveway in the middle of the night. Cost effectiveness is important to most of our customers and what we do is install an automatic snow melt sensor so when it has any precipitation and it's below 38 degrees it brings on the system automatically until it stops precipitating, runs four more hours and then shuts off to ensure that the driveway is clear. One of the most important things to recognize in the design of a snowmelt system is drainage as the water will refreeze as soon as it hits an untreated surface. This is one of the aspects that we take care of in the design stage of your system. This system was put in at 150 BTUs per square feet that will melt one snow at a rate of one inch of snowfall per hour. We put three quarter inch tubing on nine inch centers. As you can see, there's no striping or visible striping on this driveway. It's important to, in the tubing installation, to ensure that you don't get the tubing too close to the edge of the slab either because there's no benefit to melting the grass. If you look at this application, this snow melt was turned on a while ago. You can see where the loop is. It's close to the edge, but not on the edge. Um, the important thing is that it's not melting a bunch of grass and dirt out into the yard. And this is another example of a snow melt system installed by Indiana Warm Floors. And please give us a call so we can give you a chance to enjoy the benefits of the cost effective snow melt systems available here in northern Indiana. <laughs>